Welcome back to Stock Doc Trades. We are looking at Ethereum today. Before I get into it, would you guys please consider subscribing? It helps on the channel, and you can stay up to date on your favorite cryptos. The whole market is down, and I am absolutely losing a shit ton of money. But you know, I don't care because I'm holding. I'm a hodler. So, except Dogecoin. I don't have any Dogecoin. Fuck Dogecoin. So, again, it happened. Ethereum happened. This happened with ADA. Uh, all this, ha all this basically was a bull flag or a almost like a bull flag or yes it, it was considered bull flag and i was going to play the breakout up to uh 325 but didn't happen ended up breaking down now we're finding it as resistance in that 21 ema so that's not good whatsoever but and it makes it even worse is because shoulder head shoulder so like this is an this is a this is a reversal pattern. So we thought it was going to continue to push up, but it didn't, and it's continued to pu push down and it did bounce off this uh, support level. So we'll have to see what happens because we also we have another one right here. If we if we can actually pop up above this resistance line and maybe bounce back and forth between here, that would be nice. Uh, but again. I, I really no one really knows what's gonna fucking happen to it. If anybody says they do know, then they're fucking lying to you. So they're just trying to get views. Nobody has any idea. But again, we can go ahead and look at probabilities of something happen, uh, some of other things happening first. So let's go ahead and delete these. I'm gonna take this from the swing low to the swing high to see where we actually pulled back to. So this is this is good because we are pulled. To the swing high we haven't pulled back to that 50 percent level so if we can hold this 50 percent level which is at uh 3200 we can continue to push up uh to a potential of this in this range of 33 to 35. that would be a good price target that i would have for ethereum in the shorter term because we're on the hour chart so i'm going to go ahead and take a peek at a little bit of a longer time frame here yeah, we'll look at the daily chart, see what happens. And again, this is looking pretty bad on the daily chart, because if we go ahead and zoom out, okay, from the top to the bottom, we found resistance on that 50%. So that means we can go ahead and if we continue to push down, we might be able to find, oh, okay. That is saying that we're going to find support all the way down. That we could fall all the way back down to $300, which would be absolutely insane. But again, it's all about probabilities, and the probability of that happening is very unlikely. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. On our, we need to hold this level. So this is a good level to hold because this is over the whole. Look from the bear market to where we are now. Excuse me. Yeah. I can just uh, reset the chart. Okay. And we are currently on that level. So if we can actually continue to break above this and just hold this level before we actually continue to push up, then that is also a sign for us that we're going to hit that $6,500 price target because that's the other 50% level for extensions. And this could just be a big ass ABC pattern here. So that could be what we're looking for, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Or this could just continue to push down in a ABC pattern. But I do think we could be forming a falling wedge here. Just gonna boop. So again, we could be we could be just consolidating down until we until we hit the support level and we might build up and then that's when we break out and we have a lot of things that are had on we're gonna have this 50 percent obviously this 2900 uh this 3000 uh this resistance level and the all-time high and then we're off to the races so we really on the shorter time frame if we can stay above that we we could potentially hit this but on the, if we go in and look at the longer time frame which has a higher probability of being correct in the shorter time frame we are in a we could be considered in a uh, falling wedge 
So I think we could potentially come all the way down to $1,600 off for Ethereum. So that's not looking good. But, you know, it's it's whatever. So we're going to continue to watch Ethereum. And if you want to stay up to date on if you want to stay if you want to stay up to date on Ethereum, make sure to hit the link in my not the link in my bio, the fuck. <laughs> make sure to subscribe, comment and like this video because it helps out the channel a lot and you can stay up to date on your favorite cryptos. Thank you all so much for watching. Love y'all. Peace.